there. Welcome to Big Kim Crochet. I'm Olivia. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, thanks for watching and trying this out. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching again. I appreciate you. So today I wanted to do, well, this is something I've been putting off for um, almost a year, I guess. Um, so today I really need to line a fanny pack that I made and also put a zipper on it so that way I can actually put things in it and they won't fall out. So I crocheted a fanny pack last summer and today I am finally uh, finishing the project. Uh, this was something I experimented with. I wanted to make fanny packs to sell at markets, which I still want to do. And that's kind of why I have to finish this one that I made now. This is just like a personal fanny pack for me to use. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. As you can see, I have my sewing machine out. It usually sits on the desk, on the desk, but I actually brought it out this time. Anyways, I use the Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine. There's a number on it. I think it's like 4100 or something. I'm not sure. But it's the Singer Heavy Duty Machine. I'll put a link to it in the description so you can see that. This is the machine I'm using with just white thread. Um, I'm going to use some scrap fabric to actually line the bag. And then I got a zipper yesterday when I went to Joann's. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the materials. But before we do that, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my new videos, any of my new projects or pattern tutorials that I'll be releasing. If you like to crochet, then this channel is for you. So join us, subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and get started talking all about the materials. All right, so in terms of materials, um, what you'll need, of course, is your crochet fanny pack that you will actually be lining. This is the one that I made. I don't have a pattern for it. It's just four basic granny squares sewn together in the fanny pack shape. I'll try and find one that is similar and link that in the description, or perhaps I can write one up uh, for this. Not sure. But anyways, there will be a link in the description for your fanny pack, but your fanny pack needs to be all finished. I guess technically you don't have to weave in the ends on the inside since we'll be lining in the bag, but that is how I did mine. Just to make sure everything's extra neat and all my ends are secured. So you definitely need your crochet fanny pack. And then you're gonna need, uh, this is what I'm using. You might find a better way to do it, but I just like to be really exact. Uh, I'm using two pieces of printer paper and some tape to make a little cutout for the fabric. So that way the fabric will fit perfectly into this. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make that little, uh, the little pattern for the fabric lining. But then of course you do need some fabric. This is just scrap fabric that I have. Um, it's nothing special, just cotton, uh, just regular cotton fabric. And of course you don't need a lot of it. You just need enough to line this bag properly. Um, and then you will need a zipper too. I got this one from Joann's. This is just a 12 inch zipper, but your zipper length is really going to depend on how long your fanny pack is. Like along the top, you need to get a zipper that um, matches that. Unfortunately, this one that I got is a little bit too short. It's two inches too short, but I'm going to work with it anyways, because I just don't want to have to go to the store and return it. I already got this one and this will do. It's only, it's only short by like an inch on both sides at least. And, and then one other thing that I'm using too is these sewing clips. I got these for Christmas. They're awesome. I love them. I don't know about you, but I absolutely despise using pins uh, when I'm trying to like pin down fabric or pin the fabric to the thing. I hate it. It's just, I'm not good at doing it. And it, I just find the clips so much easier and just as sturdy. So I will be using these clips as well. And of course, like I mentioned before, you will need a sewing machine. Honestly, you could probably do it by hand, uh, sewing the lining in and the zipper, but I just find that to be so tedious. 
Um, but if you're really good at hand sewing, go for it. We're just doing very basic, very basic stitches. So it'll be nothing that you can't do. But yes, I am using my sewing machine. This is mine, the Singer Heavy Duty Machine. I'll put a link to it in the description below so you can check it out if you need a sewing machine recommendation. I love it. I got the heavy duty ones. So that way I could sew through crochet and other thick materials. And so far it's worked really well. I love this machine. Okay, that is about everything that you need to actually line the bag. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get our fabric and make a pattern and cut all of that out right now too. So, oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. You need a pair of fabric scissors or any scissors that you have to cut your fabric. We're gonna use those right now. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so one of the, the first thing that we're going to do is take the fanny pack that you are working with and we're gonna make a pattern uh, that is the shape of the lining that we need. So we need to make a pattern that's the size of the body. Um, I guess, let me, let me show ya. So, okay, I have my fabric laid out, but I'm just gonna toss that to the side for now. So with this, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tape this down. I believe I need it to be that long. Yes, we need the printer paper to be our pattern. So I had you get two pieces, so that way it's wide enough to cover the body of the bag to go all the way to the outside. So what we're gonna do is, we're just going to trace along the edge of the bag here. All right, before you trace the bag, make sure to tape the pieces together so that way your pattern actually stays put the way that you want it to. There we go, that should be good enough. Keep it, keep it together, okay. So now this is ready. All right, so, on my fanny pack, I do have like a row of double crochet along the top and I don't want to line that part because that's where the zipper is going to go. So I'm just going to follow that row to the edge and mark that point as where I want to stop the lining. And then I'm just going to loosely trace around the edge of the bag. And then make sure that you stop at the same point too. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna draw a line across the top, matching it with the other side. Now your lining doesn't have to be perfect because it's going on the inside, right? So it's just gotta be the general shape. Okay, there we go. So that matches, matches our, there we go, our bag. And what I wanna do too is allow for some seam allowance. So, I'm not going to be super exact with drawing the seam allowance on, but uh, we do want to include some extra fabric on the side. So that way, when we're sewing it together and when we have to fold the lining inside out, um, the seam won't be like right on the edge of the fabric. So we want to give it a little bit of room so that way it can actually hold. Um, I'm going to do about like a quarter inch, I believe. It's going to be about that much. And so you're just going to go around, again, keeping that distance, that seam allowance to make, make sure that your seams don't run out of fabric. And you're just going to go around the whole pattern like that, keeping your seam allowance. And it does not have to be perfect, trust me. I know I'm doing this very far from perfect. But I think the general idea is going to work out just fine. There we go. Okay, so I did it along the bottom, and we're going to do it along the top, too. So we need the seam allowance to go probably 
Yeah, I probably like that much. That's fine. Okay, so this is what the tracing that you have now of your fanny pack with the seam allowance. This is the pattern that you're going to use to cut out your fabric. So let's go ahead and cut this out on the seam allowance line. We're going to cut it out and then we're going to use this to cut out a shape of the fabric. Okay, perfect. So you have the pattern cut out and now we're going to use it to cut out the fabric. Okay, so now go ahead and bring your fabric in. Okay, so my fabric, I'm laying it double, double sided like this because we're going to cut out two pieces. So make sure you have that. All right, and then using your pattern, you're just going to place the pattern on the fabric and we're going to cut along the edges to cut out the pattern. So you can either use pins to actually secure the fabric, I mean the pattern to the fabric so that way you can get an exact cut, um, or you can just hold it down with one hand as you cut around the edges. This isn't a particularly difficult shape to cut, so I believe I'm just going to hold it down with one hand and cut around the edges. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that for the sake of ease and efficiency. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get to cutting. Okay, now we have our two pieces cut. You can stick the pattern to the side because we got the pieces that we need. So here we are. Okay, and now we are ready to start sewing. Okay, so I have my sewing machine ready and then I have my scraps of fabric. Uh, what I am going to do is put a couple uh, clips on top and along the sides just to hold the two pieces together um, with the right sides together. That is how we are going to sew this at first is we're going to have the right sides together um, so the seam will be a bit hidden. Okay, so go ahead and pin or clip your fabric pieces together just like this with the right sides together. Okay, so once you have your fabric pieces clipped or pinned together, we are going to start by sewing along the curve right here. We're going to sew along this part of the curve. So um, I'm just using the basic like straight line stitch. I'm just pulling my uh, thread out to get a little bit of a tail. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start sewing along the curved edge right here. Remember, your seam allowance is about like a quarter. You can use the seam allowance um, allowances on your machine right there. Um, I'm gonna kind of eyeball. I'm using the yeah the three eighths line. So I'm gonna go ahead. Clamp down um, a couple and then go back. All right, and then we are ready to go around the curve. All right, and when you get to the end, we're gonna go forward and then backward and then off. All right, and you can just stick it out and then cut the thread. Perfect. What we're gonna do now is press the seam along the edge right here so we can uh, fold it down and make it give it a clean edge and then also sew it into our bag So it looks nice and neat right there. So what we're gonna do is take our fanny pack and we're going to use clips or pins to Put the lining into the bag. So 
I'm taking my fanny pack and I'm turning it inside out um, just for the sake of ease. All right, so this is the fanny pack is turned inside out. And then you're going to turn your lining inside out. Just like this. Make sure to bring the seams all the way up so the seams aren't folded in. And the lining is going to go around the bag like this. We're going to insert the bag into our lining. Making sure it fits okay. Making sure, there we go. And make sure that it is even, that the seam along the bottom is, <laughs> the seams are lined up in the right spots, meaning down the middle edge of the bag and pull your fabric up so that way we can do a little bit of folding and then we'll be ready to go. So now that you have the lining like this, we're going to fold it inwards right here and just about the just about the um, seam allowance that we allowed along the top row. We're just going to fold that in and pin it. And you're going to do that all around the top of the bag, making sure that the lining stays in the same place. So like I have this row of double crochet on top. I want the lining to be right under that double crochet. Okay, so I have one side all pinned together with the uh, right below my row of double crochet. So when I sew, I'm just going to be sewing right along this edge here. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure the other side looks the same way. Okay, so now that we have the lining secured, um, I went ahead and I tucked in the little point of the corner right here. I just tucked it in uh, so that way it's flat along the edges right here. So when we sew, it'll just go over flat. Um, but everything is ready and even. And let's go ahead and head back to the sewing machine so we can sew this on. Okay, so... Oops, I don't know about your sewing machine, but mine has this handy dandy little function where you can take this bottom part off. So that way you can uh, sew things that are round, like it'll go under. What we're going to do is we're just going to load in our, our fanny pack with the lining. Um, I'm going to start about here in the middle, uh, or like you, you can really start anywhere along the seam. You just want to make sure that you stop in the same place. Um, and we're going to go very slow. All right. And we're going to try and keep the seam as close to the top as possible, making sure that you still get the fabric that's folded underneath um, we still want to include that so i'm using the line on my uh my foot pedal right here uh this line right here i'm just lining up the edge of my fabric with it to keep me going in a straight line but okay let's get started Oh no. All right. So once you finish your 
uh, lining. Just go ahead, pull it up and off. Something happened with my threads. Why are there four of you? So now we have sewn all the way around our bag. Let's go ahead, flip it inside. Oh, well, why don't you go ahead and trim your threads right here. There's some on the other side. Careful not to cut the yarn. All right, and then flip it inside out, and there is your lining. Oh, well, good job you have finished your lining for your bag. And now let's go ahead and talk about adding in the zipper so your bag will actually stay shut. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm, I took my zipper, and I unzipped it, um, and we're gonna put it zipper side down along the top right here. And you can use your pins or clips, but we just want to attach the zipper along the top. Now mine is a little bit short, so that's okay. Mine might look a little bit different from yours, but you're just going to align it along the top here from this corner all the way down to this one, and then flip it in. Mine's just a bit short, but make sure that the part that like the zipper tape side is along your edge right here, along the edge of your fanny pack. And you're just going to make sure that it's that way all the way down. So you can kind of tell by feeling where the actual zipper part, like the teeth of the zipper should start right along um right along the edge of your fanny pack there we go and when you get to the edge of the zipper where the actual zipper part is this the loose parts right here you're going to make sure to uh clip those down as well so I'm gonna go ahead and sew down this one side of the zipper, and then I'll come back, do the same thing to, to the other side and sew that side down as well. So let's go ahead and sew down the first part. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here, up at the top, and just work my way down. There we go. So just make sure that your needle's gonna be going through the tape and your fanny pack below too. Okay, so we got one side of the zipper locked in. And now we're gonna go ahead, head back to our little setup table and do the rest. We'll do the other side. All right, so in order to sew the other side of the zipper onto this side, we are actually going to turn our bag inside out. There we go. And we are going to do the same thing of pinning or clipping the zipper to the side. We are just doing it um, with the wrong sides in this time because if we did it the other way then the strap would get caught and would be inside your bag um so you wouldn't actually be able to wear it so um, make sure that you have your bag flipped right side out and then we're going to do the same thing we're just going to line up the zipper uh with the zipper teeth right above our the edge of the bag and we're going to clip it in, making sure that it's even with the other side, um, all the way down here uh, to the zipper part as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we've got that all pinned up. Now let's go ahead and take it back to the sewing machine. Okay, once you are back at your sewing machine, we're just going to um, make sure to keep the bag open and that your lining is not interfering with where the needle's gonna be going. And we're just gonna open our bag, put it along the machine. I'm gonna take this first 
clip out so I can get a good start. And in terms of like seam allowance, like where to align your 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 fabric so the needle goes in and gets right away. I'm just using this line right here on my foot um, for the top edge right here. That should get the tape, the zipper tape, and the actual crochet bag. So let's go ahead and sew the zipper on and be done. All right, so once you reach the end of your zipper as far as you can go, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. There we go. I'll do the unclip. And I'm planning to sew this gap together right here because my zipper is already short. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but your zipper should be good. Hopefully <laughs> you chose the right length, unlike me. And there we go. Let's go ahead and cut off the little threads that are floating around. There we go. So now we have a functional zipper that's going to keep your bag shut. Yay, we did it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for joining me in this little tutorial make along uh, with me. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm still, or the tutorial slash make along with me. I'm very much still a beginner sewist with using my machine and using zippers and all of that. So I'm proud that I was able to put it together. And I hope that, you know, if you're a beginner sewist too, you were able to follow along and see my process of how to do it. And yeah, I am pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. I can't wait to wear this bag. Oh boy, this is, I guess, not the cardigan to wear with it. There we go. Yeah, see? I designed it to fit perfectly just how I like it. I don't really wear fanny packs the way that other people do, like around the waist or something. I like to wear them like this. There's another word for it too. It's a, like a sling bag or something like that. Uh, something along those lines. Anyways, that's what I like. I like to have it like this. I think it'll be very fun and cute to have for hiking, the summer, just, you know, having a quick little, little grab bag. and. And you know what? Just the best part of it, it has a zipper and a lining. So that way if I put like chapstick or something in it, it won't slip through the cracks of the granny square. I am very, very happy about that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, like this video, comment down below if you have ever lined a crochet bag before, if you have ever used a zipper or if this was your first time this is something I really want to do a lot more this year, so I'm sure you will see uh, more videos combining sewing and crocheting together. If that's your thing, then please subscribe. I would love to have you and hear your feedback. And of course, any ideas of things you want me to make or make videos on, just share with me. I love chatting with you and seeing what you're up to. So yeah, anyways, comment that down below. And I guess that, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.